Clap your hands, clap your hands. 
knows exactly which side to step on. Yeah, he not getting nice said Uh-huh. I know that. You're singing your song tonight. It's been over. Sure, Shiley. Stays the highest for y'all. You just got wasted out yet. Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Honey's glad to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I've had a burning in my spirit all day today. Looking forward to being here. But you know, you don't have to wait to be here to be in His presence, right? Amen. Absolutely. You can stay in His presence if you choose to. So tonight, I want to talk to you all about freedom. It's been strong in my spirit today. In light of what's been going on here for the past, I don't know, I lost count. How many nights straight we've been here? And getting ready for revival. <laughs> Going into announced revival starting Sunday for those that choose to join us. I should put it that way. It wasn't going to be the tent, but in light of the weather, I don't know what's going to happen there. But so if y'all go with me to the book of John, chapter 8, and devote just a little more time to Jesus tonight, we're going to go to verse 31. How many of y'all feel free tonight? Amen. Amen. You know, God's been doing a, a mighty work in this house, and I thank Him for that. Amen. Hallelujah. There's still more work to be done than we have to allow him to, right? Yeah. We should always be open and willing to listen to his direction for whatever it is he wants us to do, right? So like I said, we're going to go to the book of John. Verse 31, we're going to start verse 31. Stand to your feet when you got it. Chapter 8. Lord, I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hmm. All right. Starting in verse 31, it says, Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, you shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Father God, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the freedom in this house to worship you, Lord. I thank you for your spirit that moves freely in this house, Lord. But if you continue to be with us throughout the rest of this service, Lord, we thank you for your presence. And we ask that you remain with us, Lord. But you use me tonight to, use, to bring this word forth, Father, to help us to grow deeper in you and to get stronger in you and to be free in you, Jesus. Because who the Son sets free is free indeed. And Lord, we thank you for the cross. We thank you for the stripes that you bore. We thank you for every precious drop of blood that you shed on Calvary. We thank you for it all. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I looked up the definition to the word freedom. In the Webster Dictionary, it says the quality or state of being free, the absence of necessity or, con or constraint in choice or action, Liberation from slavery or from the power of another. So now I want to give you what the Christian view of freedom should be. True freedom is not a matter of doing what you want without restraint. But cultivating the right wants and living in obedience to God's will. In other words, freedom results when our wants align to God's will. There's a lot of people that proclaim Christianity that are Amen. not free. Amen. They're not free. They're bound. Why are they bound? Because they choose to do other things. They choose to be outside of God's will. 
They did the wrong thing. Not the God thing. Get their feet. Some don't like to be told what to do. Amen. Jesus doesn't tell us what to do. Come on. He gives us advice. He gives us instructions. See, we had the freedom of choice to obey those instructions. Right? Just like when you're going somewhere, you don't know where you're going. And you put the right, you put the address into Judy Judy, as Bobby calls it. Now you can choose to follow Judy Judy. Or you can choose to go your own direction. Most of the time Judy Judy is right. Yeah. But Jesus is always right. Amen. Jesus never leads you in the wrong direction. Amen. Jesus will never tell you to do something that's going to harm somebody. He'll never tell you to say something that's going to harm somebody. Amen. 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 Galatians 5 1 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made, made us free. Be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. Why did, why did Paul write that letter? Do y'all know why he wrote that letter? He wrote this letter to Galatians because a church had been formed there, led of God by Paul, and then he moved on. And when he moved on, some religious people showed up. And when those religious people showed up, they began to listen to their voice and forgot the leadings of, the, of God and what had been taught to them. Don't let somebody taint what you believe. And you better be careful who you're listening to to let him guide you. If you're not in the Bible, it ain't true. Amen. People are walking around blind because they're being led by the blind. Amen. You hear me? They're listening to other voices. Every time the Spirit moves mightily, people get on fire. And then the next day, where'd that fire go? Who did you listen to during the day? Who did you listen to today that kept you out of the house? Come on. Bless her, Lord. My desire is to be in his presence. Yeah. My desire is to be among my brothers and sisters. Gaining strength in the yeah. Lord. Yeah. I don't desire to be out there. I don't desire to sit at home. Amen. I desire to be where I can get stronger. Amen. I don't get stronger sitting at home doing my own thing. Exactly right. Choosing freedom. I have the choice. You have the choice. You better make sure you're making the right choice. Uh -huh. The things that have been happening in these services. Yeah. Because we've chose to be here every night. What if we had chose to sit home? Uh -huh. Those that had got set free. Uh -huh. Those that had got delivered. Would yeah. still be yeah. in bondage tonight. Yeah. 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 Come on. Here's the thing. Every time the Holy Ghost lights a fire, uh -huh. the enemy is following around with a bucket yeah. of water. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. He's following around with a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Just looking for a chance, Travis, to put your fire out. Come on. Why? Because the stronger that fire burns, the stronger that spirit moves, yeah. the more people it touches, the more people are being set free, the more people that are walking around, look at me, look what God done for me. Has he done anything for you? Has he done anything for you? So when we talk about freedom, and when Jesus says who the Son has set free is free indeed, yeah. What did he set us free from? You know, you hear people talk about, well, I don't know what you're talking about casting out demons. There ain't no such thing. The devil is a liar, and he's done tainted your mind, and you're believing a lie. That is the first thing he does is try to convince you that the enemy is not against you. 
And that you don't need God. You don't need the Holy Ghost. Why do you want to speak in tongues? Why do you want to shout? What are you talking about delivering somebody? Let me tell you something. Jesus was all about deliverance. And he delivered all the time. And he gave us orders to continue his work. What works do you think we're supposed to continue? Sitting around and twiddling our thumbs. How blessed and highly favored. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Your words mean nothing. Your words mean nothing. Now with that freedom that he gave us, you see, we couldn't choose who our parents were. We didn't have a choice in that. We were born, placed here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Main purpose is to worship him and to have fellowship with him, right? Amen. And all throughout life, we learn how to make choices. And when we enter in to adulthood, we start making choices about what we're going to go next. Come on. You see, as parents, we make choices for our children. We teach them how to make the right choices. I tell my boys all the time, make good choices. Make good choices. But are we living the kind of life to show them the good choices that they're supposed to make? What do we place above church? What do we place above prayer time at home? What do we place above Bible time at home? Do they see that? Do they see us continually searching, seeking? What are you looking for in that Bible, Mom? I'm looking for the truth. Come on. I'm looking for the way. Yeah. I'm looking for life. Yeah. I'm looking for freedom. I'm looking for peace. I'm looking for joy. Yeah. I'm looking yeah. for a protector yeah. to help me in the storm. Yeah. To keep the waves from overtaking me. Hallelujah. That's what I'm looking for. And guess what? I found it in here. I found it in here. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You see, the enemy wants to tell you, oh, you don't need that. Yeah. You don't need that. You don't need church seven days a week. You need to be at home relaxing. Feet kicked up. You sit there and relax, baby. You sit there and relax. Come on. Come on. Relax. You hang back. And you're going to look around and say, where'd they go? Where are they? Where are they? Amen. We're going places. We're going places here. You hear me? We're going places. Why do you think God's calling us in here every night? Why do you think He wants us in here every night? Why do you think Sunday and Wednesday wasn't enough? Come on. You saw what's been happening. You saw the Spirit move. Yeah. You saw the deliverances. You saw the things being revealed that we didn't even realize was there. You saw the things that He took away from us that was that was burning us down, casting down those weights that are keeping us from getting closer to Him, Amen. To, from keeping us to walking in that cool calling. Amen. Paper saw my shoes. I'm going to go over to Romans now, chapter 8. <laughs> Starting in verse 1, it says there, in chapter 8, verse 1, there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ. Jesus, who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Do you understand what He done for us? Do you understand what He done for us? Sin cannot take us out. The devil cannot take us out. The demons that people don't believe are real cannot take us out. If we have the authority of Him, if we've been set free by Him, Amen. it's not my work. Come on. Right. It ain't none of your all's work. Oh, it's the fact that we're open to what He wants to do yeah. and we're choosing to listen to Him, to lead and guide us. And we choose to be here. We choose to work for Him. Yeah. We desire more of Him. And when we say, use me, Lord, when we're given that sacrifice, when we give that time, 
then we'll be ready. Amen. Amen. Amen.